So one of the key things about the definition that we have developed on communities of flourishing is that at its uh, fundamental point, a community has to be both relational and pro-social. And I wonder if each of you could share a little bit about what your thoughts are regarding what we mean when we say relational and pro-social. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I think about um, pro-social and uh, relational, I'm really thinking about creating spaces where um, youth can develop uh, healthy interpersonal and interpersonal relationships, um, but also intrapersonal mm -hmm. and also kind of um, vertical um, so that the environment kind of promotes and helps to form relationships that um, develop <clears throat> a healthy sense of, excuse me, <clears throat> a healthy sense of self in relationship um, to God, to the world, and to others. Mm. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about. When I think of youth groups, I think that they get to be a place that, uh, a community that's different than a lot of the other communities that kids are involved with. with. Um, so when I think of a pro-social community, I think that this is a place where the ethos of the group is developed um, mm -hmm. by the group itself. It, they're not told who they have to be or what they have to do, um, but that they come up with what kind of a community do they want to be a part of that promotes healthy relationships and, and healthy activities. And, um, you know, I, I certainly respect and understand the value of other communities they're part of, like athletics. Um, but those are very success-driven, yeah. sometimes every man for himself. Mm -hmm. And in a, in a youth group, um, they, it's everybody for each other. Right. And that's, they, get to, they get to be a part of a different community that, for some of them, feels better and, and safer. Um, and in terms of the relational aspects of this community, I think a lot of them are involved in groups where they have to do something. Mm -hmm. the, the object or, or the purpose of the community is around doing something else. And in a youth group, the, the doing is the relationship <coughs> itself. Right. The relationship with each other, with the leaders, and with God. And that is, we're showing them how that is valued and that's important and that can, <coughs> can help lead to their, um, their flourishing. Absolutely, I think what you both are mentioning is so important and really um, <coughs> goes along with my thoughts around pro-social and relational. You know, relational to me, like you said, is the building those relationships and those skills with each other is really the goal in and of itself. <coughs> And the other piece is that every voice is heard and valued mm -hmm. equally. It's not more of the traditional format that they have perhaps in school where it feels very hierarchical or you know they're told what to do. Instead here, every voice counts mm -hmm. um, and every voice really contributes to the development of the group. And I think the other piece in terms of um, <coughs> pro-social has to do with it's not a community that's reactive, mm -hmm. but it's one that is really ready from a prevention perspective as well as from a reactive perspective. So it's really um, forward thinking. It's mm -hmm. thinking about other alternatives and um, possible situations that the youth might encounter in a way that's always ready and mm -hmm. available for them. And so it, I feel like in some ways what we're saying is that um, how we're defining it is is really countercultural. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean it's countercultural to, um, like you were saying, some of the cultural values that are being lived out in other contexts. Mm -hmm. um, it's countercultural to kind of like fear based reactionary responses that don't actually get at the root of uh, what will what will help form a healthy adolescent. You know, it's just, it's, it's really a countercultural thing that we're um, proposing. Mm -hmm. That's a really great point. And my wish around that would be that the kids that aren't afraid to have these deep feelings or meaningful conversations or really deep questions that maybe 
are related to theology and they want to pose won't be silenced, yeah. but instead they'll find this community of flourishing really that accepts them for who they are, including all of those deep questions that mm -hmm. can then be models for the um, other youth that are joining. Mm -hmm.